Can you hear that? It actually became a killing ground where 66 men were slaughtered. Thank you for tuning into Amy's Crypt. Today I am going to take you to the site of a horrible massacre that happened here in Singapore. And as a result of that massacre, this place is thought to be very, very haunted. Stay tuned as well because we are going to be hanging around until nighttime to do a paranormal investigation of Changi Beach. Alright guys, before I take you to explore Changi Beach, which is thought to be one of the most haunted places in Singapore, I wanted to cover its extremely dark history. Because this place at a glance looks extremely beautiful. You would never guess all of the terrible things that happened here. So here in Singapore, following World War II, there was actually a massive massacre known as the Suk Ching Massacre. Here at the beach, it actually became a killing ground where 66 men were slaughtered. These Chinese men were brought here by the Japanese, lined up and then marched across the beach towards the water, tied up. Then they were gunned down as they reached the water. A lot of them didn't die from their gunshot wounds. They fell into the water and begun to drown. The Japanese did ensure that everyone had died after this process was completed by hacking the bodies apart with a bayonet. A lot of these people were decapitated as a result of this. After all this killing was complete, the bodies were buried in a nearby mass grave and that was dug out by about 100 prisoners of war who were both Australian and British descent. Ever since this massacre, there has been a lot of claims of paranormal activity occurring within this area. A lot of people have reported to hear weeps and cries of pain as well as people wailing and yelling, screaming out for help as if they are about to be killed. A lot of people have also reported to even hear gunshots in this area when no one is around. There's also been a lot of people to cite apparitions here. And these apparitions are quite interesting. People have claimed to see the heads of dead Chinese people bobbing around in the water. They've also seen these heads, these decapitated heads, flying across the beach. A lot of the time as well, people will see a headless body just walking aimlessly down the beach. And there has even been some people who may have seen a residual haunting and actually witnessed this massacre replaying itself on the beach. Additionally, there has been a lot of people also citing a woman in this area wailing and crying as if she is grieving the loss of a loved one before disappearing. Now, a lot of people have also stayed in the beach houses in this area and the haunting has been thought to spread out that far. They've claimed to be attacked within their homes, being scratched to the point of gaining scars. They've also experienced a lot of poltergeist activity in this house. So this entire area is thought to be quite active with the paranormal. It has a very tragic and sad past. So we're gonna to head to the beach and just check out the area. And we'll definitely be trying to reach out tonight and seeing if we can make contact with any of the spirits thought to linger here. All right guys, so we're very close to the beach. We're just going to walk over and check that out. I believe the area that the massacre occurred at is just over here around the corner. for the wind is super super windy out here but I've just found a park that talks about the Changi Beach massacre I read online that there is a memorial set up somewhere so I'm going to try and locate that I don't not convince this is a memorial this seems more like an infographic but this could very well be the place that the massacre took place and there's an illustration here depicting what happened and it's just so brutal and really sad to look at and see
Alright guys, so we've pretty much walked the entire length of the beach and we found a map and this massacre memorial or site is not recognised or marked on the map at all. I'm assuming that infographic down there is the spot that everything took place and I think we're going to walk back to that and just explore that area a bit more. It's really, it's a really, really heavy thing to think about those like mass executions for just the silliest reasons. It's just nonsense. All right, guys, it's dark now. It is still a little bit windy, though not as bad as before. So we're going to head back to the area where that plaque was and I'm going to try and reach out on my spirit box. Uh, this is the best tool for when it's a little bit noisy and because there's wind around, like, it should just help. Definitely should have worn a dress today. It's blown up like 10 times. <laughs> Alright guys, so we're back here at the Massacre Park and we're going to head to the patch of beach, which is directly in front of it. Right now I am standing on, sorry, there's ocean behind me and there's planes going over because we're right near Changi Airport. But right now I'm on Changi Beach and I'm going to reach out to any possible spirits that may linger here because there was a massive massacre here in the 1940s following World War II. So I'm going to reach out on the spirit box. I'm going to be trying to reach out in Chinese, which is a language I do not speak. So please be kind with my uh, pronunciation. But listen out, if you hear any words or phrases, please drop me a comment and let me know what you hear. Ni hao, water mingsha, shi Amy. Hello, my name is Amy. That was definitely a voice. Ni kei ke wo de tanma. Can you talk to me? Definitely just heard a male voice then. Jele Yorenma. Is there anyone here? What is your name? Are you scared? What happened on this beach? Alicia, why are you here? You're in Charlotte, Nima. Did someone hurt you? reported to hear weeps 
and cries of pain as well as people wailing and yelling, screaming out for help. Shayshan Hala Ni, who hurt you? It's another plane taking off. Ni Shenma Shaho Lai De. When were you here? Ni Shang Si Ma. Are you sad? Give me a sign you are here. Definitely some voices that we captured coming through then. It's really difficult to hear with the waves going on, but I will be reviewing all of this when I edit. So usually I'll pick out any pieces that sound like words to me, but if you guys speak a different language or you hear a different word come through that you believe is meaningful, please leave me a comment. I also love to know if you think it was just all interference and not meaningful at all. That's also important to know. But this is where the massacre site happened and while we're here, I do also just want to point out another piece of the urban legend which is particularly dark and creeps me out and that is that a lot of people claim to see blood appearing on the beach, just in the sand. Nothing looks out of the ordinary right now, but it's really sad and disturbing that that's one of the legends that goes with this place. All right guys, I'm just hitting record now. So this is a ghost tube session along Changi Beach. And we're just gonna to walk to another area here um, so that we can do some more experiments. This whole area is supposed to be haunted. Although there was one central location where the massacre happened, ghosts are thought to roam along this whole area. So I thought I'll do a ghost tube session here. You'll see some readings along the bottom of the screen. One of those is measuring uh, the magnetic field around me. It's very low at the moment, so if we do get any fluctuations or anything, it's gonna actually mean that there's something here around me. And I don't feel like there should really be anything on the beach that might trigger that. So, we'll see how we go. So far there's not a lot, and this is quite an interesting place to be, understand the history of and investigate. This, just walking along this beach and not knowing what has happened here in the past, you just think it's so lovely. It's a really idyllic looking place. There's palm trees, there's nice sand. There's, I mean, little cafes and bars scattered along the shoreline as well. You just wouldn't think it was a place that a lot of people died and were just slaughtered down really sad to think about actually. I'm not getting a lot of magnetic readings at all. We're heading up to another end of the beach. This is actually on a very small island so we're heading up to the tip of it. We're up there before and they have an interesting sculpture up there and 
I think there's been other investigators at the beach that have focused their efforts up this end as well. So I think that I should go there too and just see if, you know, we pick up on anything. Other than that, it's been quite a nice night, really. Okay, I might stop recording this one now. So we didn't get any words through. We didn't get any real spikes in the magnetic detector, at least that I witnessed with my own eyes. So I might try another one at the tip of the island and see how we go up there and see if there's any differences in the readings. But for now, it just everything seems pretty calm. It's, it's weird because some people there's around. There's a man coming up to us. We're going to show them. Doesn't matter. All right, guys. So I brought you to the upper end of the island. It's much. Oh. say that it's much more quiet up here but I'm wrong okay guys I brought you to this other end of the island we're gonna have a quick look at this sculpture over here which is I'm unsure what it actually represents or stands for I have no idea if it's related to the massacre but I felt like this area was a bit quieter and sheltered though we've just had some shirtless dude yelling and now it sounds like they've got karaoke going on have a look at this hand, like. guys so I brought you to likely the most calm still and quiet place on this island this beach area and because there's some I don't know if they're private residences or bars or what but I can hear music and sounds like I hate to say it because I'm not a great singer but terrible karaoke singing cue singing <laughs> There's also planes going ahead and I really wanted to do an EVP, but you know, I investigate a lot of places and you guys always ask me to do EVPs and the truth of the matter is I don't like doing them unless I know I have a controlled enough environment where any background noise can be explained and this place is just too loud for one, unfortunately, so I think we're gonna leave it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. You guys can also do a bit more reading about Changi Beach over at amyscrypt.com. If you want to follow me a little bit more, head to at amyscrypt on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Until next time.